Hey guys, I just wanted to come on and say hello. Yeah. Mary Ellen and I had been talking back and forth and she asked me if I could show her how I did my hair. I was telling her that when I powdered it on the other side, opposite where I had been wearing it, that it looked like a whole new style. So what I did is I just washed my hair, get out of the shower, put on makeup. I just kind of smoothed it over with my flat iron. And this one is a just a cheap one. It's a Remington that I got at Walmart. All right, so I style my hair the way it I usually wear it. Now look, I have like little baby bangs coming in here and coming in here and in there. And I told her I said I've been losing like my hair's thinning out here, but it's it grows back. But like in the meanwhile, got like all the little baby bangs. So anyways, what I did is, all right, this is the side I usually wear it on. And I'm gonna flip it over and show you what it looks like when I do it on the other side. So what I'm gonna do is put on this Sleek It by L'Oreal. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna squirt it on my hand, rub it like this, and Put it through my hair. It's straight iron heat spray. I used to have one that said lock it or something like that too. Um, that kind of locks your hair styling. Okay, can you guys see me? So I'm gonna flip it over this way and go like this. And so I'm going straight up and then with like a little curve. And then I'm gonna hold it right here where it's hot just so it'll have like a little bend. You just Hold that for a little bit until it gets cool. And see how like it gives you like that lift right there. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And you go right up, you get as close to the roots as you can. And then you hold it up with your hand like that. See? And it gives you the, that little bit of lift at the roots. I'm doing right here too. Going back. Whoops. <laughs> oh God, guys. All right. Now watch it won't do what I got it to do the first time. All right. See, so I'm getting a whole different part here. My bangs are falling different and everything. See, and I'm getting all together different strands of my highlighting coming down on this side. Like over here. And then, see, my hair naturally wants to do this. I have a cowlick and it grows towards the middle. The hair just grows this way. So it naturally wants to like do this little thing in the middle. So. Take it from underneath and just keep going over this way, like this. And all right, then I'm going to take this part and come straight out and hold it. So it gives this part a little bit more oomph. And then, like right here, see where this is flat? And take it, like right next to the root. Bring it up. Ooh, the smoke. And then hold it like that. And if your ends are frizzy, just kind of go straight down like that, and it will give it a straighter look. Or you can go out like that and give it like a more of a fluffy look. So that's what I do. And you know, I never like curl under with my bangs. So you just keep bringing it up from like the crown of your head and then like hold it. And then you get that look. Now I 
to bring like a few pieces down, you know, so I'm not, so I have a little bit of bangs coming down. So then I'm going to take my Callista Tools Embellish, it's called, Embellish with Attitude. And it's a texturizing definer. And I got this at, um, I think it was QVC, ooh, QVC. And what you do is, I just take like a little pump, because if you put too much in, you're going to make your hair feel like matted and dirty. So I just take like a little dollop like that on my finger. And I do it on my fingertips, not on my hands. I used to do it on my palms, but I just do it on my fingertips now. It works better. And keep doing it until you feel it like getting warm. And then you see, see? And then you just clap your hands together and that and you don't even have to tease your hair or anything it just kind of locks it in so that's that's all I do and then after you do that you can take your hairspray and like, I always go like this and pull it like over the, in this direction. Like that. So it like makes my, so you don't see my part as much. And then I do the same thing on this side. And then I take my fingers with that gunk on them and I kind of like twirl the ends so you can piece out your bangs a little bit. And I'm trying to let my bangs grow out. And I saw on, um, I was watching Lisa Lisa D1 this morning and I got this sticky stuff all over my hands. And she is trying to let her bangs grow out so she's been pinning them back. So she had like this challenge like let's all let our bangs grow out together and see if we can give each other ideas on uh, you know what we're going to do with them in the meanwhile. So if you guys have any ideas, um, throw them out there. I'll tell you, I really like her channel because I've learned a lot on her channel. My face cleared up because of her, actually. I was I stumbled across a video of hers one day and one day she was talking about her face breaking out and it was like not real pimples, there was nothing in them, but it was like this like thing that she was getting around her nose and in her mouth and she found out that it was sodium laurel sulfate. So I started checking all my stuff to see what I had and I had been using stuff with sodium laurel sulfate in it and so I stopped it all together and I started using, what's that stuff that I use for my face to wash it? I can never think of the name of it. I'll put it down below. I started using that that doesn't have it in it. My face cleared up but it's never been so clear guys. I don't get any pimples at all. Nothing. So, anyways, now watch me break out because I said that. No, but it's been like a couple of months now since I got rid of all the sodium laurel sulfate that I've been using. Um, it does have it on some toothpaste, so you have to be careful with your toothpaste, like on the corners of your mouth, um, you know, when you're drooling while you're brushing your teeth. And I, I don't know if shampoo has it or not. Long story short, I found it on Lisa Lisa D. One's channel. So I am interested to see what she does with her bangs because she just seems to know so much about, you know, makeup and hair and stuff like that. But, um, so, blah, blah, blah.